Hey fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. Tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. So let's just go ahead and tap in with Spirit. Get this TV out real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy here, fam. But no matter what comes out, please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. To all the subscribers and members of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not subscribed, fam, or a member of the channel, I thank you so, so much for just coming and viewing the message, spending some of your time with me. I greatly do appreciate you. I hope everyone is doing well wherever you are in this crazy, crazy ass world. Fam, if you can see the background back there, those are clothes. I'm doing laundry as I am reading. So, yeah, that's what they do. But anywho, let's go on and get into this. Also, if the message resonates, y'all, please hit the like button for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, whomever did, you know what? It's somebody in y'all energy. It's like they kept coming for you and coming for you, and you sent that shit right back. Somebody ancestors is all on this person as unicorns are very significant in this situation. Now somebody is like, look, I don't want no more smoke with you, fam. Like, I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of the towers. Just please, can we just call a truce or something like that? They need to be asking your ancestors, honey, not you. Yeah, fake apology. Exactly. Whomever this person is, if you possibly know them, they could come through even if you don't. This person going to apologize. They really don't mean it. They're only apologizing because the things that they've done are now starting to hit home. Oh, yeah. But let's see here. Holy Spirit, what's the message for my fam? Yeah, somebody could have like a lot of financial issues at this time. Yeah. Y'all finna get a big ass blessing as well. This person is going, I'm feeling some spirit just said hardships. They can have legal troubles. Yeah, somebody right here, they're getting served with some type of uh, eviction papers. Somebody is also getting served with some type of papers at their job. Yeah. This could be one of your exes. Don't have to be, though. But somebody's just tired of the drama, but they started it. So let's get into this. It's like somebody picking a fight with you and then you beating their ass and then they want to just like, I don't want to fight no more. Yeah, we got promiscuous right here. So we're talking about a karmic energy. Whomever this person is that wanted your man or your woman or whomever this is. Yeah, they were doing shit behind the scenes in order to cause chaos in your life. Yeah, and they thought the shit was funny, but now I bet it ain't so funny now that it's hitting them, huh? Holy Spirit, what's the message here? What's the message here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got divorce right here. So this gives me the energy of, it's a karmic energy out here, fam, that knew that you were dealing with somebody. And this person went after this person anyway. And it's like, now this person is really into somebody. And this person is doing them the same way. So whomever this karmic energy is that caused a rift in your relationship or whatever, this person right here, they're in love with somebody now. And this person is now, you know, running around on them. So it's all like a return to sender, payback, something like that. But I don't feel like it has really anything to do with you. Yeah, game over. You're not even in this situation. You ain't giving this person another thought. Once you sent that energy back, it was like, shit, this out of my hands. Whatever is going on, it's above you now, fam. Yeah, investigating right here. Oh, my goodness. Fam, there is some, somebody out here that dibbled with or dibbled and dabbled with somebody that you were dealing with. And now I'm telling you, this person is putting them in like third party situations or, you know, something like that. And they're trying to find out if they're, if they're now person is dealing with you. Oh my goodness. It's like a hell no. Why would you want to deal with somebody that's dealing with this person that done dealt with everybody? Because whomever this person is, they for everybody. And now they got a person that's just, just like them in the same energy. I was scared. <laughs> What's the message here? Somebody is also trying to see if you and somebody have made up or something. Oh, that's what it is. So whomever this person is that dibbled and dabbled with your person, it's like they were the cause of y'all's breakup or something like that. But now your past person is putting them through the same situation. So yeah, what goes around comes around. Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, doing drugs right here. So, 
thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody has a an addiction. But I really feel like doing drugs, this person has an addiction to you, to your energy, things like that. So whomever this person is, this karmic energy is over here. They got addicted to your energy. They were ciphering, in, ciphering your energy from your uh, past person through sex. Yeah. So it's like now that they don't have your energy anymore, your past person is like on to the next one. They feel like your past person has uh, reunited with you or something like that. And it's like, hell no. You have to be out of your mind to take this person back. Also, I'm, it keeps coming up. If there is somebody right here that uh, sells drugs or something like that, they're being watched. They're under investigation right here. Somebody right here really does need to stand down. We saw police. So somebody might be going to jail. Yeah, I feel like y'all have completely cut this person uh, out of y'all energy. Yeah, private relationship right here. This is somebody who felt like they got the one up on you. Yeah, sex shop. Yeah, trash. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> so it's like why this person was, why your past person was dealing with this karmic energy. Oh, it was great because, you know, this person right here, the energy that they were getting from your past person, it made them feel like you. So it's kind of like home. But now that you're nowhere in the situation, you've possibly done some type of cord cutting ritual. It's like they can't cloak themselves in your energy anymore. So, yeah, now somebody don't even want to have sex with somebody. They feel like the sex is trash. That's why they get in rooms with other people. Yeah, somebody's sexual energy is trash. Somebody's energy, period. Whomever this person is, they could be having, like, skin issues as well. Yeah, check yourself. <laughs> Somebody got something going on. See, this person right here, they really should have checked themselves when they was trying to come for you. Because, baby, that's never a good thing. That go that damn neck. That's what I'm saying. So, now it's like somebody over here, they're rethinking everything that they did to you in order to get this person to step away from you. It's like now that they got the person, they now see what the hell you were going through with this person. Look at this. Envy is right here. They did this all out of spite. Envy. Envy. Envy, jealousy. Yeah. Whomever this person is, they thought it was funny to send this infestation to your home as well. This could have even been like one of your noisy ass neighbors or something. Because I feel like it's a, it's a, yeah, we got betrayal at the bottom of the deck. Y'all got some neighbors out here that your, your past person was dibbling and dabbling with. I'm hearing while you were at work. So, yeah, somebody could have been the type to stay at home, but I feel like they were still bringing money in. But it's like behind your back, they were actually dibbling and dabbling with people that were closer to me, uh, closer to you than you know. Yeah, whomever this karmic energy is, they dibble and dabble in black magic of some sort. Mm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, you already know this, though. I feel like now it's laughable because it's like this person wanted this, your past person so, so bad. Yeah, this red lipstick stain energy, this promiscuous red lipstick stain energy who's jealous of you, envious and everything else. They wanted your past person so bad, not knowing what the hell they was actually getting themselves into. So they thought that sex was going to keep this person. Yeah, nah, they done got kicked to the goddamn curb. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> your past person is done with the karmic energy as well. So it's like now this karmic energy gets to feel everything that you felt. Everything that they put you through, they're now getting put through. Yeah. They don't want nobody to know about this, though. They're trying to keep it a secret. Yeah, that they're falling apart, apart here. Somebody, they, now they want to come and apologize to you for everything that they've done to you. Yeah, but it's like a hell no at this point. Yeah, I told y'all they go police right there. Somebody here, they also, this person, somebody um is a sex worker. I mean, like, for real. They, they get paid to have sex with people. So your past person, they got involved with a hooker. I was scared. Yeah. Whomever this part, this uh envious person is, they now in their feelings. I'm saying they get to feel everything that they put you through. What goes around comes around. So karma's turning that ass a new one. A situation's about to explode. Shit's about to pop off. Yeah, love story. Once upon a time, this person think that this person done came back towards you. 
for whatever reason. It's like, hell no. Now this karmic energy is depressed. Somebody, it's like a certain song that keeps coming on the radio as well that's driving this uh, karmic energy absolutely insane. Yeah, the hater. The hater got played. <laughs> yeah, because whomever your past person is, now they're watching you and they're starting to appreciate you. But it's still like they're off in a promiscuous energy as well. Yeah, somebody hates nothing about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody want to tell y'all they sorry, but it's like they're only sorry because it's like now they're in the same position. Like, seriously. One more card, please. Yeah, anger management right here. This karmic energy is finna pop. She's finna blow or he, whomever the fuck. Yeah, this red lipstick stain energy. Yeah, look, sexual protection right here. Somebody is not even sleeping with this person anymore. Yeah, there is no intimacy between them and your ex anymore because I'm telling you, your ex is on to the next one. I don't know why they thought they was getting some kind of goddamn prize. Yeah, look, the Eight of Cups. Your ex done left this person. So I don't know why the hell they think this person trying to come back towards you. you like, hell no, I don't want to hear this. Yeah, Taurus energy. Somebody thought that this them and your ex was going to get married, child, and if they only knew. Somebody also found condoms, and them and your ex, they never use condoms. <laughs> so this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Holy Spirit, what's the message here? What's the message here for my fam? This person is lurking. Yeah, somebody gets high a lot. And it's like when they get high, they get in their feelings, they get in their head and things like this. Somebody is also being haunted by everything that they did to you. Somebody is losing their mind. Seriously, they're hearing voices and things like this. Yeah, we got the Empress right here. Libra Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody here could even be taking pregnancy tests. With this, with this check yourself, somebody is taking several pregnancy tests. This karmic energy is possibly finding out that they're pregnant by your person, but spirit is saying that's their karma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, queen of swords energy right here. I feel like you completely removed yourself from this situation. The only reason you're coming up in this reading is because this karmic energy is placing you in it. They feel like they pretty much lost this person to you. No. Nah. Yeah, look, the two of cups, they rip somebody this karmic energy knows that this person wants to be with you. Two of cups to the king of cups. Yeah, somebody here, your ex is your ex is a piece of work. A real piece of work. Somebody here could be going to jail. I ain't gonna lie to you. So you know what? This karmic energy is on some get back shit. And if your person is on probation or, you know, maybe they got caught selling drugs or something, this karmic energy is trying to get them put in jail. Because it's like if you know, if they feel like if your past person not going to be with them, then they ain't going to be with nobody. So, yeah, this, this karmic energy, it feels like they are each other's karma. Real shit. That's what I get. Yeah, somebody here, this karmic energy is about to explode. She losing her mind. So whomever your ex person is, I suggest they watch the fuck out. Because this person right here, it's like, they don't give a fuck no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some fight could ensue between them. And it could end very, very badly. Somebody here, your ex in this karmic energy, they argue about you a lot. If they only knew how many other people that your ex is actually dealing with, your name would never come up again. But it's like this person is so insecure when it comes to you, it's ridiculous. Hell, you lose them. The same way you get them is the way that you lose them. Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person is a player. See, they didn't realize that. They both got played. They playing this game and they both done played themselves. And you the only one sitting over here like mm, sipping tea, watching it all go down. Because this ain't got shit to do with you. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see why some of y'all can have children with your ex. And whomever the karmic energy is, they love to bring your name up. 
So it's like your ex, I don't know what's going on, but they like protective of you. Even though they did this shit to you to hurt you, this person is still very protective of you. And it's like, I don't know what this karmic said, but it's like your ex, they got real out of pocket. Yeah, this king of swords, we got the king to the queen right here. I'm going to tell y'all something. If you found out that your ex was dealing with somebody else and you let their ass go, they didn't want to be let go of. Even though they out here doing stupid shit, they still wanted to be with you. This person considers you their better half. So it's like, yeah, they're still very, even though they're out here doing God knows what with God knows who, they're still very protective of you. And nobody can't say shit wrong about you without this person getting very irate. Yeah, the lovers right here. This person is like, you're their better half. You're their other half. So they not trying to hear that shit when people talking crazy about you. Nah. Somebody here is giving like, they're still very much so, I'm going to say this person is still very much so in love with you. It goes deeper than being addicted to you. This is more of an in love type situation. 1616. And that pisses this karmic energy off because it's like the moment your name fly out, out they mouth, your ex be on a uh, demon time. Like, seriously. How is it? Yeah, some of y'all could be in the process of getting a divorce from this person. Yeah, we got the page of pentacles right here. Hmm. Whoever your ex is, I ain't gonna lie to you. They do want to come back towards you. They watch you all the time. They watch you all the goddamn time. But they lie about it. Somebody can ask this person, hey, did you see such and such, what such and such posted? They gonna say, no, nah. they saw that shit and then some. They constantly watch your, your social media. Somebody knows where you live. They constantly watching your, I'm hearing your front door. They keep watching. They were looking at different pictures that they never deleted out of their phone. There is also a text thread. Some This karmic energy, they nosy ass right here. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you and your ex had a little tape or a little video or something y'all recorded. They little nosy ass done went looking for something and done found it. So that's why. This person right here, you're still very much so prevalent in your ex's life even though you've detached. So it's like your ex is out here just fucking with people for for shits and giggles. Because it ain't no love in, involved in none of this. Yeah. We got the three of wands right here. I'm taking out the card. Somebody could have heavy Virgo in their chart. Oh, it's good. If you would, if your ex, if you would give your ex another chance, I'm telling you. They will leave all this shit behind. But the thing is, I don't feel like this person can be trusted. Yeah, we get the Knight of Swords right here. Mm -hmm. To the Nine of Wands. Somebody don't want to hear. Your ex do not want to hear about you being with somebody else. You know, getting to know somebody else. They don't even want to hear or see that you're doing good without them. But the thing is, they're addicted to watching you. Point blank, period. They constantly going through shit with this person behind you. And it's just like, it's unnecessary because you ain't nowhere in the picture. Yeah. Somebody feel like they left some, um, you for somebody that's very much so immature. Who does not know how to control their emotions and things like this. Yeah, high priestess right here. That's how your ex looks at you. Your ex actually push you on a pedestal. I'm telling you, your ex is still very much so in love with you. But it's like they could have made one stupid ass mistake and gotten this karmic energy pregnant. Whomever this karmic energy is, this person keeps threatening to get rid of the baby and everything else. And then gets mad when your ex act like they don't care. This karmic energy also keeps threatening to harm herself. And it's like, long as uh, fam don't hurt themselves, and I'm good. Like, your ex don't give no fucks about this karmic energy. I'm telling y'all, it was all about sex. But they really should watch this person because this person is trying to get them put in jail. Like, seriously. I feel like this karmic energy is the type to start shit with your person. 
And then like when your person reacts to them, yeah. So it's why your, your ex really do need to check their attitude because somebody got one hell of a temper. And I feel like, you know, I don't condone no type of violence, but I do feel like your ex will punch this bitch right in the mouth. And that's all she wants. She wants this man to hit her or something like that so she can call the police and get them locked up. Yeah, Aquarius energy right here. Your ex really thought that this person over here, this karmic, was like you. Yeah, like a homebody. Very much have a lot of self-respect, like, like grounded. You know what I'm talking about? No, this person, this karmic energy all over the place. But it's like when they met, they both in the same energy. But now the karmic done fell in love and your ex still out here wanting to do whatever the fuck. See, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> the karmic done fell in love with your toxic ass ex expecting some type of solid commitment and it ain't even gonna it ain't nothing like that your ex is only gonna be this emperor energy to you if you let them back in which i feel like hell no they didn't have their chance and they blew it yeah virgo aquarius energy aries taurus mm -hmm. yeah this i'm telling you this person right here i heard they got pregnant on purpose your ex done clearly told this person they don't want the baby yeah, so this person might find themselves being a single mother because I ain't going to lie to you. I feel like your ex finna like dip out on their responsibilities. Like real shit. But I'm just saying, if you didn't want to get this person pregnant, you should have took that condom and put it on. I hope they didn't use the condom that this person gave them. I heard they got pregnant on purpose. So if they used the condom that this karmic energy gave them, this person right here poked a hole in it. And I feel like they did use a condom that this uh, uh this karma gave them because they go a purse. This karmic energy got pregnant by your ex on purpose and it's finna be left right where the hell they had the whole situation fucked up. The cycle is closing. Some This karmic energy is being ghosted. And they think that you have something to do with it. And that's a lie. You ain't nowhere in the situation. Somebody feels like you and this person, y'all never really called it quits. Maybe your ex didn't call it quits with you, but I feel like you closed out the cycle with them. You don't need closure from your ex. I feel like you've already given it to yourself. Damn. We got the tower. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is getting the truth with that uh, that um, queen of swords. Your ex don't feel the same way that the karmic do. <laughs> the karmic done fell in love with your ex. And they're mad as the absolute fuck. Because the feelings are not reciprocated. Like, seriously. Mm -hmm. It's like at one point, yeah, this your ex was all wrapped up into this karmic energy. While they were dealing with you. Because they were cheating on you with whomever this person is. But it's like, a, it was the energy. They taking your energy and giving it to the karmic. The magician is right here. But now it's like you pulled your energy completely back. You're not sleeping with this person. You don't talk to this person. You don't see this person. There's no way for them to, you know, the it, this karmic energy to cloak themselves in your energy anymore. So, yeah, it's over. It's like, no, your ex is no longer interested. They want to rush back over here to a Chudo. Yeah, somebody right here is doing... <laughs> somebody is doing heavy black magic. That's possibly how they got your person. Well, your ex. Your ex possibly started ignoring you or whatever and giving to something else. Or it's just like you couldn't put your finger on it, but things definitely changed. This is what it was. I feel like there was sex magic done. Yeah. But now it's like the spell is completely broken. And look at this. Somebody's little, this ex, I mean, this karmic is losing control. Because somebody right here, they don't want to sleep with them. They don't want to come over anymore. I'm seeing somebody done moved out. Yeah. The magic ain't magic in no more, y'all. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, the Queen of Wands right here. Baby, this ain't got nothing to do with you. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. 
It's crazy. Holy Spirit. Yeah, we got the page of cups. This also feel like if you have children with this person, this karmic is trying to compete with you. So that's what it was. They're trying to get pregnant by this person to have somebody right here. I don't know why they're trying to have this person's a son for this person. Some of y'all could already have a son with the, with your ex, but this karmic energy, I don't know. They're trying to have a son as well. Also, some of y'all have a water sign child that is very sensitive to energy. This person, this, this child is empathic, male or female. Yeah, whomever this child is, they're inheriting your, 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 uh, I heard skip. They're inheriting your, um, spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Turn it down. This karmic energy up here, this person right here, they could be some type of, uh, tarot reader. They read cards. I don't know if they read them for other people or they just pull them for themselves. But this person right here, they've been pulling cards on you. They're trying to see if this person is coming back towards you. And for some reason, their cards are telling them that, yes, this person is returning to you. Mm -mm. Yeah, and that's what got them all their panties in a bunch right there. Some of y'all, this karmic energy tried to start shit with y'all in the past. And it's just like, girl, please, I ain't got no time for that. Yeah, you dismissed this person right here. Because <laughs> you got shit to lose. They don't. Except for they mind. Because that's exactly what the fuck they over there losing. They mind. Yeah, high priestess is right here. Oh my, okay. Yeah, the King of Pentacles right here. Somebody is also getting readings on y'all. This part, this karmic energy, if they're not the ones that's doing magic, they're paying somebody to do magic. They're paying somebody to try to do magic on you and on this on your ex. Yeah, whomever this is that you possibly have a family with. They're doing magic on them. Also, whomever this karmic energy is, I'm just going to say my condolences because if they were pregnant, I see them, the pregnancy ending. Hmm. Yeah, we got the seven of cups right here to the nine of pentacles to the six of pentacles. Your ex is out here wild and fam. I'm just going to tell you. They are single. They don't give a damn about what this karmic... Thank you, Holy Spirit. They don't give a damn about what this karmic is going through. They out here mixing and mingling and everything else. Yeah, but want to come over here and apologize to you. Try to get back off of your good graces and things like this. I'm not saying that this person is trying to get back into a relationship with you. I'm just saying that this person right here, they're still very much so in love with you or have a lot of feelings for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And they want to apologize to you. Because it's like you could have warned this person about this karmic and they didn't listen. And now they're seeing what it is that you tried to tell them. So it's something that you said. It's, actually, it's coming true. This person is very protective of you, fam. I'm talking about very. Even though y'all gone through everything that y'all gone through, if you need this person, they're going to be right there. Like real shit. Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. They do want to come back towards you. Yeah, but I'm I'm telling you, they don't want to be in a relationship. And they damn sure they feel like they feel like they're not even the father of this karmic's child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody here gave the karmic money. So that's possibly why the the pregnancy, I saw it ended because somebody right here, they they gave this karmic money to get an abortion. Now, whether they got it or not, I don't know. But either way it go, I see the pregnancy ending. Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles coming up in there. I mean, that bad boy flew out in the reverse. 
Somebody wants to come through and try to improve the relationship that they have with you. Yeah. Because it's like, not only were you and this person lovers, that y'all were also friends. So this person wants to try to get that back. I, I don't see this person wanting to be in a relationship with you at all. And that's true. I just feel like this person is sorry for what they did to you. And it's like not having you in their life is an issue. And they want that back. Yeah, we get the devil right here to the judgment. This karmic is under judgment right here. And that's the truth. This person dibbles and dabbles with a lot of like dark energy right here. Yeah. Somebody got a reading from somebody, fam. <laughs> and it told them that your ex was still in love with you, still wanted to be with you and things like this. This person swore up and down that, that, that the high priestess that they got a reading from didn't know what the fuck it is they were talking about. This person also tries to manipulate energy. So it's like they try to manipulate shit into going into their favor or to, you know, whatever the fuck. And it's like they can't... <laughs> This is how priest is speaking truth. Your ex is still very much so into you real bad. They really thought they had this person like where they wouldn't look, go nowhere, wouldn't come back towards you and things like that. They seeing that they ain't as powerful as they thought because everything is crack coming crashing down. Mm hmm Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, but you're protected from all of this, like seriously. And if this karmic energy thinks they're going to come anywhere new, near you and do... Nini? Come anywhere near you and do anything to you, they would have to go through your ex first. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, Three of Wands is right here. Somebody really did not want to hear that your ex wants to, you can't make this shit up, two of cups, that your ex want to make things right with you. Mm. Bro, your ex still love you, bro. I'm so serious, but I ain't gonna lie to you. They still got a wondering eye. This person is not ready to settle down. They are not. They'll come over there and fix some shit if it breaks. They'll give you some money if you need, you know, need a bill paid or whatever the hell. Hell, if they sell weed, they'll come drop you off an ounce. But this person right here, even though they look at you as the empress to a cups, they are not ready to settle down. They still want to see what the fuck else is out there. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what got this karmic energy stuck in their head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles right here. God damn. Let's say your ex uh, win the lottery or something. Yeah, some of y'all go play the goddamn lottery because we done got the ten of cups and the ten of, uh, I mean, the nine of cups to the ten of pentacles. And I just said lottery off of a whim. Yeah, y'all go play the goddamn lottery. But um, let's say your ex win the damn lottery or something. You gonna be their first stop. They finna come drop you off something because they want to make sure that you're good. It's like you can count on this person. Some of y'all can count on this person financially. But when it comes emotionally or, you know, taking care of your heart or some shit, hell no. Uh-uh. Nope. Also, I feel like some of y'all exes, they stay stuck in their head a lot. So they can have, they could be an air sign with Pisces in their chart or something like that. Yeah, this person stay in their head a lot. I really do feel like what they did to you really fucks with them. Because I'm hearing they know that they broke a bond. Mm -hmm. Whomever this karmic energy is, I'm telling you, they thought that they was going to be set for life. <laughs> Living with your ex. Hell no. People need to understand something. Just because your ex treated you a certain way, don't mean 34, 33, don't mean that they're going to get the same treatment. Hell this is a, this a hoe. This a hoe. So they got treated just as such. You're the empress. And that's why you get treated the way that you do. You see what I'm saying? 
Even though your ex did not take care of your heart, Lord have mercy, they still hold you on a pedestal. They just were immature, or they still are. So I don't know if this is something that happened. You know, you met this person when you was young or something. But yeah, but I'm just saying, even as they're older, because I feel like y'all have known this person for a while. Even though they're older, it's like a part of them is still stuck in that immature mindset. I feel like they've gotten themselves together financially, but it's like emotionally, nah, they ain't there yet. This karma could be a motorhead. The, a certain car turned them on. Yeah, they got your your person got on all, all the, the latest this and that, name brand this and that. That's what turned this karma on. They got, that turned her head. That's why she thought she was getting the goddamn prize right here. No. No, baby. Yeah, we got the king of swords right here. That's the truth. Somebody thought that they could change. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This karmic thought that they were going to be able to change this person into what it is that they wanted them to be. No. No. Your person got what, I mean, your ex got what they wanted from this karmic and left. Turned they back. And I heard laugh as they walked out the door. I see. I also see somebody throwing something at the door as it closes. Yeah, we get the eight of wands right here. Hold on, y'all. Okay, fam. Sorry about that. Yeah, and I feel like this karmic energy is looking like even more of a fool because they've gone around telling other people that they know how much in love that, you know, they, they, they are. These two people. Oh, we're so in love. We're going to get married. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, they. she had planned on taking trips and everything. No, baby. No, and that's the truth. Goodness gracious, this person really, really thought that they could change your ex into this King of Swords energy. <laughs> Can't nobody change nobody. A person changes only if they want to. And I honestly feel like, yeah, the Eight of Cups right here. Woo, child. So we get eight, eight right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your ex, they only really deal with this person, I'm telling y'all, for sex. Because I just heard she a eater. So, yeah, that, that karmic been over there gobbling your ex to, to, to death. And thought that that was going to keep them. No, that ain't what's going to keep them because they done already walked away. Mm -hmm. Whomever your ex is, if there's a baby coming, because you know everybody didn't lose a baby, and people, some people didn't get an abortion. There's with the Empress, there's definitely possibly a baby coming. Your ex has told this person, I'll take care of my responsibilities, but me and you, hell no. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What a tangle web we weave. Somebody's last name could be Weaver. I heard LaShawn. Yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacles right here. If they live with this karmic energy, baby, there's a there's a moving truck. Yeah, there's a moving truck. They done gathered their shit. They're, they're leaving. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling y'all, something that y'all predicted it, that would happen in this situation is happening right now. Y'all could have even told this other person, this karmic energy up here. Oh, you really think you got you a prize? Well, watch this. Y'all was right on the money. If y'all told somebody, he ain't going to never love you like he loved me. He ain't going to never do for you like he do for me. You were absolutely fucking right. This part, your ex don't have no emotional ties to this person at all unless there is a child there. And then it's still only emotions for the child. Ten of swords to the will of fortune. They thought that they had really come up. No, baby. You finna be doing worse than ever. I ain't saying financially, but emotionally and mentally, this karmic is about to crack if they haven't already. This karmic could have a nice body. I'm not gonna lie to you. Big old ass, everything, small waist. They thought that sex and the way that they look was gonna keep this person. And no. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
This person is more attracted to you because you're not in that fucking energy. You're not out here trying to entice people with your body and things like that. Some of y'all stay covered up most of the time. Your ex love that about you, but it's weird as fuck because they also like looking at naked ass Instagram models and shit. You see what I'm saying? This craziness. It's like they, they want to deal with the whores and look at the whores, but they'll marry you because you ain't nothing like that. Yeah, Leo energy is here with the strength to the six of cups. You honestly, I'm going to tell you something. You and this person bond, I feel like, honestly, I don't care what y'all go through. Some shit just can't be broken. It can't be broken. At least uh, if that's not how you feeling, that's how your ex is feeling. Like we have a deep bond and it can't be broken. Or somebody feel like they broke your trust and they broke the bond and they trying to get it back. Devil energy is here. Mm -hmm. Somebody chose to deal with a karmic energy and now I feel like they're regretting it. Yeah, we got the eight of pentacles right here. Mm -hmm. This could have been somebody that they met at work or something. Yeah, we get Gemini energy. Aquarius, this could have been somebody that your ex met while they were at work. And it's like, damn, they only like the way that this person look. Y'all see how they naked on this card? Can't really show it. But yeah, you see that. No, that's all it was. Somebody don't get that. Your ex, they're tempted easily by things that look good to them. Yeah, look at that. Libra energy, Knight of Wands. Somebody right here, they're very tempted by the looks of people, but it's not like they want to invest in that. They know a bad investment when they see one. I don't know why. The, this is craziness. <laughs> it's just like whomever your ex is, they never, they didn't want this to go this far with this karmic energy. But unfortunately now, well, I ain't going to say unfortunately because babies are a blessing. But the way that your ex is looking at it, it's like unfortunately they possibly got this person pregnant. I'm, I'm hearing only time will tell. So there could be a karmic energy out here also lying about being pregnant. Just to keep your ex with them. But either way it go, people need to understand that a baby ain't going to keep no man. If a man don't want to be with you, he's not going to be with you. Also, we just saw that justice card. Somebody here is going through some type of legal case about children. I feel like your children are going to be returned to you. Yeah, just give it time. You're gonna your children will be returned. Yeah. Cause I don't know if somebody is in foster care right now or something like that. Yeah, we get Sagittarius energy right here to the seven of wands. Somebody do not want to balance shit out with this karmic. Yeah, and that's the truth. And they standing on that. This karmic energy really fucked themselves trying to fuck over you. They really did. They really fucked themselves. This person right here, they got a real outdated way of thinking. Ain't nobody really getting with nobody no more. But they fucking people that they like the, the, the way they look. But as far as marrying and investing, they want somebody with substance. This karmic energy don't have shit to offer but sex. I just heard this karmic energy can cook, though. So she can cook and she can fuck. But when it comes down to actually having something to offer, she ain't got that. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. What's the message? Yeah, we get the judgment right here. Three of Cups to the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> this is craziness. Some of y'all, this is nuts as fuck. Because it's like your ex want to come in and take full responsibility for how they made you feel, the ruining of y'all's connection. Some of y'all don't even look at this person the same spirit, so you don't have any respect for them anymore. That really messes with your ex. It really fucks with them. 4444. They want to come in and, and take full responsibility for this. When they were trying to evade it in the past, 
This person, I feel like in one way or another, they have grown. They have grown up. It's just that they just not interested in being in a relationship. It's something here that this person wants to come back and, and deal with you. But they also have responsibilities over here. So they have to keep dealing with this third party. Even though they do not fucking want to. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. They're, this is karma for both of them. You gone. You are the love of this person's life. And they fucked you over. They can never have you again. And then they got this crazy karmic bitch that they probably stuck with for life at least 18 years. Yeah, and then she over here catching her karma because she going to fuck around and be a single parent. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, one more, please. Yeah, we got the three of swords right here. Both of these people are heartbroken in one way or another and stuck in their fucking heads. Yeah. It's like a, I don't really want to stay, but I don't really want to go. But what I really need to know is can we get it together? Yeah. Somebody don't want us. They don't want a relationship, but they don't want you completely out their life either. They just want to know if y'all can get back on some type of, you know, if y'all can get back on the same page in one way or another. Yeah. Sun card right here. Somebody just said they miss your smile. Yeah, because some of y'all don't smile as often as y'all used to. And this person feels like they're responsible for that. And that messes with them as well. Yeah, somebody feels like you're possibly the two of cups to the four ones. You're, 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 you're their twin flame. Yeah, we got the two of cups, two of pentacles. I think we got the two of swords out here. I'm not really. Yeah, it's a lot of twos and then the four of ones. Somebody feel like they fucked over their twin flame. So y'all could have also taught this person a lot about spirituality as well as the twin flame journey. This person, I'm saying they want you back. But it's just like they know that they're not ready. And somebody, I heard them, they say they hurt you enough. So if it's like if whenever this person decides to actually, you know, get their mind together and think like a grown person, they want to be with you. They would love to be, you know, in a relationship, possibly even, you know, get married. But whomever this person is, and I ain't going to lie to you, I commend them for not coming back towards you on some uh, couple type shit while they're in this energy. You know what? Oh my God. This that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> Some of these people friends are like, what are you doing? Like they trying to figure out what they do and messing with the karmic energy over you. Yeah. <laughs> they like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. Cause it's just like this person right here, it's they don't compliment each other at all. Outside of the energy, it's like they don't compliment each other. <laughs> Lord have mercy so even your ex's friends know that you're a way better choice for them than the karmic energy yeah <laughs> I'm saying I just heard somebody saying what are you doing I, heard, I actually heard somebody say what are you doing with your life <laughs> yeah <laughs> so somebody or your ex they have sisters they have they have uh siblings in their sister. So your ex could be like the thank you, Holy Spirit. Your ex could be like the only boy. And they have like a lot of sisters. And their sisters are like, what the fuck are you doing with your life, bro? Like for real. <laughs> so yeah, their your ex's family knows that yeah, they should they should be with you. Uh, your ex know this too, but it's just like the, the energy that they're in. They just like, nah, bro, I can't do that right now. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you, they love you, the queen of cups. If you have children with this person, they love how, how you dote over y'all's children. Because some of y'all, I'm seeing that you are damn good mothers. Go to work. You're very patient. You're very protective of your children. You teach your children about spirituality. But at the same time, you allow your children to be children and experience what they have to experience on their own. Yeah. 
That's beautiful. Yeah, three of swords to the ace of pentacles. Somebody know that they broke your heart and they want to come through and make it right. Yeah. I'm hearing broken promises. This, pro this person promised you that they would never do you like the person did you before. So that tells me that y'all opened up to this person about past hurt. And they said that they would not do you like this. And they end up doing you the same fucking way. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Somebody right here, they have a hard time, really, for real, dealing with how much pain that they caused you. Somebody could be drinking a lot as well or doing like, you know, they're overindulging, trying to cope with what it is that they've caused her. Yeah, we get the lovers right here to the Ace of Pentacles. Better half. I'm telling y'all, when this person actually get their mind together, this person going to ask you to marry them. Whether you accept or not, this person is going to come to you and express their feelings. They're going to tell you how much they love you, how sorry they are and everything else. But I really honestly feel like spirit has separated you and this person at this time because of what they've done to you. I don't know if the spirit going to ever allow this person to come back towards you, son. And then you know what? That makes the thought of you not, them not ever having another chance with you really, really puts this person in a depressive energy. Yeah. And whomever this karmic energy is that's trying to have a son for, for your ex, they're going to end up having a daughter. Mm -hmm. some of y'all could now you got to take the energy how it resonates because some of y'all could have daughters and this part that's why this person wants to give your uh your ex a son mm -hmm. now with this nine of cups right here i can't tell y'all that all of them not gonna I, i'm not gonna tell y'all that all of them gonna have girls because somebody right here they are gonna have a boy they're gonna have a son Whereas you have daughters by this person, they are going to give your ex a son. And it still ain't going to make your ex be with them. That's what they don't get. Gemini, Sagittarius. That's just what I can see from up here. <laughs> yeah. Holy Spirit. So, you know what? Your ex knows that there's only one pathway to prosperity, and that's through you. Your ex know that it ain't they they not gonna be truly happy until they're back with you. But they have got to ground their energy and quit being for the streets. Man. Now some of y'all spirit gonna give this person one more chance to make this right with you. Some of you, and that's up to you if you take it. You don't have to say yes to this person, but the offer is going to be put on the table. Spirit going to allow this person one more chance to come through and make this right with you. I sure hope they don't fumble it. Mm -hmm. This karmic energy thought that your ex was actually their person, like the person that they prayed for and asked spirit for. Nah, your ex was just looking at this person's body. I'm telling you. Two of Pentacles right here. Mm -hmm. I sure hope they don't fumble this. You know what? Your ex want to come towards you right now, but it's like taking everything in this person. Yeah, devil card. They know that they not in the right energy. Yeah, cancer. They know that they're not in the right energy. That's why this person, they just keep it pushing, but they watch you a lot. Yeah, they watch you. Some of y'all might have this person blocked on social media or something. They watch you through different uh, family members' accounts and things like that. Somebody want to ask you a question. Holy Spirit. Who wants to ask them a question? Who wants to ask them a question? Leo energy right here with the string. Capricorn, Leo. I heard Virgo. 
Gemini and Sagittarius. Somebody want to know if they've completely ruined their chances with you. That's what they want to ask you. Because they damn sure juggled you with this karmic energy. They want to know if you, if they, if there's any ever, if there's a, a ever going to be another chance for y'all or something like that. This person want to know how you feel about them. Ooh, why they asking you that? Yeah, Eight of Cups right here. This karmic energy has got to get herself together because right now, this person is not in a good space at all. They keep wanting to offer to your ex and your ex ain't trying to hear it. All your ex trying to do is get away from this person. Wow. I'm telling you, it's like... <laughs> Something here seems like a backfire, fam, because it's like now the karmic energy is like completely loyal to your ex, but your ex is just like, nah, bruh, I don't need or want any of that. Like, seriously, so I don't know if this karmic energy did some type of magic on your ex to try to get them to be this king of swords energy and they just sitting back waiting on it. It ain't gonna happen. Child, you better hush your mouth. Some of these karmic energies done asked your ex to marry them. And your ex turned them down. No. Do y'all see any cup? Y'all see anything about love out here except for that two of cups when we was talking about you and your person? I mean, your ex? Your ex don't love this person. Something here was purely transactional. So it's like, I don't know what the transaction is, shit. Uh, I don't know. Now look at her. <laughs> I don't know if somebody was giving somebody money every time they slept together or something like that. Hell, if I said somebody gonna come through and bring you some weed. So your ex could have been the weed, you know, the weed man or something. And they sitting over here and they giving this person weed and order, you know, things like that. It's just like somebody got the whole wrong idea about the fucking situation. And now it's like they're going to end up, both of them going to end up regretting it. This is crazy. I should change my name to Storytime Tarot. Because the messages that I've been getting lately are just like, oh my goodness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles right here. Yeah, Page of Wands, Nine of Cups. Somebody is leaving this karmic energy and headed straight towards you, fam. They headed straight towards you. Somebody feel like they can have it all with you, seriously. Some of y'all, you know how they say if you give a woman a... Uh, uh, food, she can make a meal. If you give her a house, she'll make it a home. Give sperm, they're going to make it children. Yeah, somebody knows if they give you something, then you're only going to multiply it. You're not going to take from it or, you know, cause them any type of loss or anything like that. They know that they can count on you to be who the fuck you actually are. Yeah. Yeah. Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah, the star card right here. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I don't know what really happened here. All I'm doing is reading the cards. All I know is that your ex has never lost any type of feelings for you. None. Yeah, in, your, in their eyes, you're always the star. They really do feel like they fumbled. Some of y'all could be in the public eye. You could be celebrities, whatever. I don't know who watched me, but all I know is your ex feel like they, they fumbled. Like the best thing that's ever going to happen to them by being in this karmic ass energy here. It's like somebody wants to come towards y'all fan, but they're staying away from you because it's like they know that they have their own issues right now that they really do need to work out because this person, they have something attached to them 
and they don't want to bring that towards you. Yeah, they allow some type of energy to attach itself to them, and that's why they're staying away from you. But I do feel like they're trying to get the hell away from this karmic energy because they're realizing that this karmic don't mean them no good. Damn this. Yeah. Death card comes up in the reverse, but this person right here, I'm telling you, they have not changed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, tower right here. They haven't changed, but it's weird as fuck because they know exactly what's causing, you know, the rifts in their life, what's causing the blockages. And it's the way that they act, the way that they think, things like this. But I'm telling you, whomever this person is, they're, they have, they're not ready yet. They're not ready. Yeah, two of swords right here. They're not ready. It's like they torn between you and, and the lifestyle that they love to live at this point. Somebody is very much so single and they just running around doing whatever the hell it is they doing. Like I said, some of y'all could be, I don't know if I, it was it in the other one, could be in the other one, but somebody could be in the middle of a divorce or a separation or something like that. So it's like somebody just running around sowing their wild oats at this time. But they keep you on their mind constantly. It's like, seriously, now, it's like when somebody ready, they gonna come over there and try to water the shit out their grass. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They gonna try to nourish the shit out of y'all's connection, but only when they're ready. Mm. I don't see y'all sitting around waiting on this person, though. I'll tell you that. I see a lot of y'all focused on y'all money. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's somebody out here thinking about giving this person another chance. One of y'all are thinking about giving this person another chance. And hell, I don't knock you for that. Because me, I believe everybody can change. But only if they want to. And right now, with this death card in the reverse, this person don't want to. And that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah, the three of cups right here. This person's still in the mindset of having fun. Sleeping around with anybody that they want to sleep with. But I ain't going to lie to you, high priestess. This person stuck on you and when they they love you. It's weird as hell out here. Because it's like this person right here. It's like they're, they, it's like a push in the pool, but they doing it to themselves. Yeah, and unfortunately, they got this person over here just on their ass. Yeah, somebody, this third party could be pregnant. They got this third party on their ass like a son bitch. I hope whomever this person is is not drinking while they're pregnant. Because I see somebody still, if they're pregnant, they're still not changing their lifestyle. And I just said lifestyle. So this karmic energy could be pregnant, still out here sleeping with other people. Going up partying and everything else. But I, it's all a coping mechanism. For both of them. It's weird. Mm -hmm. so they both doing dumb shit to cope with the uh, the loss of the love of their lives because this karmic energy your ex is the love of their life while you sitting over here the love of your the your, you are your ex is like yeah you the love of their life mm -mm -mm. Holy Spirit, can i get one more card from this deck please Damn, there's more than one yeah, we get the Ten of Swords right here to the Six of Wands to the Five of Cups. This karmic energy, I'm telling y'all, somebody right here, they only got pregnant to keep this person. And when they realize that this person is not going to be with them, they will end up ending this pregnancy. Some of them they will, some of them they won't, of course. Yeah. But it's like somebody is doing a lot of shit for attention. And now they're not getting that attention that they expected to get. Them three cups are turned over. Yeah, this car, this this third party knows that it's over for them. But I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you and tell you that they ain't gonna hold on to this person. Look, the four ones in the reverse. I told y'all somebody moving out of a home. If somebody moved out with you, 
I don't know if they moved in with this karmic could have, but they damn sure want to come back home. Somebody regrets all of this shit. They're sad. Even though they still out here looking for attention from the village, deep down this person is sad as fuck. Yeah, it's like the party is over and shit like that. It's weird out here, y'all. But hey, it is what it is. Yeah. They got themselves into this situation. Yeah, somebody could have a shitload of tattoos or be a tattoo artist as well. Somebody could have very pale skin. Yeah, I told you some of y'all exes, they wear a lot of name brand clothes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, somebody could have like short wavy hair if that's your person. I'm even seeing some of y'all, you wear like your hair cut really, really short, but it looks good framed on your face. Yeah, some of y'all could have black hair, age range 27 to 45. Yeah, somebody could have like naturally curly hair as well, or you wear your hair like natural. So let's see here, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody could have red hair. Somebody could also live in Detroit. Somebody could have dimples. Yeah, average physique. That's what I'm saying. Some of y'all have average physiques. Somebody up here, I keep getting an image of a big butt. So I don't know if somebody done went and got a BBL or what's going on here. It just feels like it's a lot of fake shit happening. So somebody, this karmic energy could have like a lot of plastic surgery or something like that. Or this could be you. I don't know. Yeah, somebody could have a pointy nose. That's what I'm saying. Somebody went and got like dimples. They went and got their nose done. It's just a whole lot of shit coming through here. Yeah, we got powerful right here. Yeah, they this karmic energy thought that they were going to be a power couple for some fucking reason. It's like Bunny and Claude. Yeah, this, some of y'all wear your hair natural, fluffy hair. It's giving like 4C. Yeah, somebody could drink like dark liquor straight. Yeah, we got straight hair right here as well. So that give me, that's what I'm saying. Some of y'all wear your hair uh, natural and maybe you go get you a silk press or something. Some of y'all could be thinking about coloring your hair or you just did. Yeah, we got daring right here. Exactly. And we got dark eyes and we have, what is this, wavy hair and dark skin. I feel like there could be like a colorism thing going on here as well. So I don't know if you're like a lighter skin tone and the karmic energy is like darker than you. Or this could be the masculine. You and the masculine, you like two different skin tones or something like that. Yeah. This karmic energy right here, it's like the eyes are the window to the soul. And their soul, they have a very dark soul. Somebody could have a lot of Native American um, blood as well. It's like your bloodline. Yeah, we got individuality. <laughs> Holy Spirit. What's going on here? Yeah, we got twin flame right here. Exactly. I don't care how this person, how much cosmetic surgery they go get or whatever the fuck. They're never going to be able to compare to you. Your energy speaks for itself. It cannot be duplicated, siphoned, borrowed, tampered with, any of that. Yeah. Some of y'all have like a, it's, it's, it's your sense of humor. You make people laugh. Yeah, we got really natural makeup here as well. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to do a lot. You're just yourself. And that's what makes you attractive. Somebody else, they just doing too much. One more card, please. Holy Spirit. Yeah, this karmic energy called themselves really being in competition with you. Yeah, we got fashionista right here. And we got resting bitch face. That's what I'm saying. Some of y'all may look really, really mean, but you're the sweetest person in the goddamn world. Some of y'all also a trendsetter. Somebody, this karmic energy, it feels like they try to model themselves after you. Yeah, some of y'all could have like long nails, beauty marks, freckles. Whomever this karmic energy is, if you have beauty marks or freckles, 
they they've gone and gotten cosmetic surgery to do this too this is weird somebody also it's like i don't know if they wear contacts i damn sure hope somebody ain't went under the knife to change their eye color somebody did because them motherfuckers is white as hell Mm, somebody could have green eyes, blue eyes, hazel eyes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Some of y'all could wear your hair like really short and wavy, but it really fits your face. Yeah, you. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you got woman and then we got man right here. So he he that's what I'm saying. Somebody want attention while you just sitting up here, you're good. It ain't like you looking for attention, but I feel like you get it a lot. Yeah, somebody out here, they do too much, like for real. But anywho, fam, let's get y'all some signs so I can get up out of here. It's too much. It's way too much. Holy Spirit, what's the signs associated with this message? I just heard heavy Taurus and Virgo. Sagittarius here. We get an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So somebody could be Sagittarius with earth in their chart. Or, you know, take the energy how it resonates here. Man, I want y'all to see something. Do y'all see how big that bottom of that person is? I told y'all somebody that went and got them a BBL. Yeah. And it ain't no good one either. Mm -mm. It don't look right on them. They too thin. Somebody is way too thin to have that big old butt. Man, dude, let me ask y'all something. If y'all know anything about BBLs, please tell me. Do the thighs that go with the one, 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 and I saw four, four. Do the thighs cost extra? Are they more expensive than the butt? Is this why motherfuckers is walking around here looking hella ridiculous? Because somebody got some really little legs, but they got a big old butt. Yeah, cancer energy here. We get a fire sign. We got Sagittarius right there. Holy Spirit. We get Taurus. Holy Spirit. We get Aquarius. We got a water sign with Pisces and Capricorn at the bottom. So we got fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius, as well as Pisces and um, Scorpio. I don't know why that slipped my mind. But yeah, fam, that's been your message. Hopefully, it gave you some type of clarity. If it did, y'all, please hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open. If you're interested, all of that information can and will be found in the description box of the channel. Let me get this rope in, y'all. It's always my pleasure, of course. I thank y'all so, so much for allowing me to read for y'all. I'm sending you guys loving, healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy-ass world. I will definitely get back up.